Hello everyone, Kevin T. Rodriguez here, and one thing I like to do once in a while is go to the Dollar Tree store. Um, sometimes it's for a practical reason, like I want some office supplies, and Dollar Tree stores tend to sell them cheaper than Office Depot and everything. But whenever I go, I always want to look at the music, movies, books that they have in stock, because yeah, most of the time it's a waste of time. It's, it's junk. Uh, you're amazed that it got made in the first place. Once in a while, though, you find things that definitely strike a tone. So this is music I found at the Dollar Tree store. This is actual music. Um, you know, stuff that was in, like, Targets, Walmarts, Best Buys, and, you know, supposedly it was supposed to sell good. Uh, the first thing, which was interesting, was... The We Are Marshall soundtrack, um, based off um, the only good Mick G movie that was made. This is not the score, these are the songs. Um, Cat Stevens, Jackson 5, Three Dog Night, Clear Credence Clearwater Revival, um, a lot of big names on here. Uh, we Are Marshall with a huge hit. I don't know how big a hit the soundtrack was, but apparently it's a dollar now. So... Uh. Um, also, for a dollar, I don't know, any of you remember season three of um, American Idol? Carrie Underwood won. I think you might have heard of her. She went on to do some, you know, pretty good songs, sell a lot of records, still singing, has a new album coming out. Well, her runner-up of the show um, was Bo Bice, who released an album, and then years later he finally released a second one, which is which I found at the Dollar Tree store. This one's called See the Light. It's um, 2007. And originally it cost $9.99 um, if you bought it at Walmart. Uh, used to cost $9.99, run up for American Idol. Um, now he's in the Dollar Tree store. Speaking of American Idol, um, just to show that, um, you know, American Idol definitely... Uh, has a shelf life unless you happen to be extremely talented. Um, a compilation of the season eight contestants. This was the year Chris Allen, probably one of the weakest American Idol winners, had won American Idol. And it also has um, an Adam Lambert song on here, too, actually. Um, Anoop Desse, Megan. Corkray, Lil Rounds, Danny Goki, of course, we all remember these guys. They all went on to do big things. Kind of, sort of, not really. Actually, the only one of these that you've probably heard of is Adam Lambert. Uh, otherwise, these are popular songs that they're singing, so it's not like it's a bad listen. It's just a lot of these people um, didn't go on to do anything. Um, $10. Um, now it's in the Dollar Tree store. Um, however, the final CD that I saw was um, definitely um, a little bit better. Uh, Ario Speedwagon. Now, these guys you probably have heard of because they're a pretty big 80s rock band. And this was the Find Your Own Way Home album. I'm actually... Born to Love You, I think, is the only song I've heard from this. And that might be why it's in the Dollar Tree store um, for... The album was, what year was this? Yeah. Well, I can't find it. I think the year's been covered up by the sticker, but um, sometimes popular artists will be in the Dollar Tree store because their CDs had like one good song on them, which is kind of what started the downfall of the music industry and the rise of digital music where people would rather buy two or three songs that were good and then they would, you know, leave the rest unbought. Um, albums like this prove that. Um, and it actually, I think, because of the digital revolution, artists have to work harder now to make sure their albums are, you know, thoroughly listenable to so that people want to buy the whole thing. Um, but back then, that was not a problem, so they just sold us garbage. And uh, I like Ario Speedwagon. It's not necessarily a bad album, but it wasn't memorable, and now it's a dollar. So... So, yeah, just interesting stuff you find at the Dollar Tree store. Um, figured I'd share it with you guys. This is Kevin T. Rodriguez. Um, see you guys next time.